I'm Dylan Tabera with the DK Day Foundation. This week we are proud to feature our student of the week, Peyton Brown. We chose Peyton because not only is she talented, but gives back to her community. Peyton, how are you today? I'm good. We, pre we appreciate you letting us into your home. Tell us your age, your grade, and where to go to school. 17, I'll be um, in 12th grade and at Clear Springs High School. How long have you lived in Lake City? Um, I've actually lived in Lake City basically my whole life. Um, I went to Seabrook for a little bit, but I've basically always lived here. Well, Peyton, tell us what kind of activities you're involved in at school. Um, I do cheerleading. That's my main one. Um, I do PALS. And this year, I actually got accepted into um, a medical program for a pharmacy, so I had to drop PALS to do my medical program. Um, I am on the winter ball committee, vice president. Um, I did best buddies all three years. Winter ball what? Um, it's like a winter ball committee, like the winter dance. Um, it's a committee and we all do um, community service and we raise money. We actually make the whole entire winter ball dance. Like it was set like a dance? Mm-hmm. Uh, for who? Oh, school? For the school. Oh, for the school. It's a junior and senior dance. So you're going to be a cheerleader this coming year. What sports do you cheer for? Um, we cheer for the sports that um, you normally see cheerleaders at, mostly basketball and football, um, occasionally volleyball. Is Clear Springs involved in competition year? And if so, how does that work? Um, we actually started a competition cheer my sophomore year. And they, um, just if you wanted to do the competition team, you could because not you could because not everyone wanted to do it. But now it's mandatory in um, the whole entire district, so every school has to do competition cheer, and it works. Um, this year they're going to start looking at us in August and um, deciding what level teams they want. Um, they'll normally have two different teams, and depending on your skills, they'll put you on one or the other team. So that's has the team ever won? Has the team ever won any titles? Um, we did win best overall tumbling team a couple years ago and um, at camp a couple months ago we won best chant best um, best chant and then best like overall team we just won basically everything we won a spirit award every single day and then um, we won the Herkemeyer award and that was voted on by all the other teams as the best team around and they all voted for us that's good uh, you also mentioned that you were a sophomore class president that's a really big deal. What type of responsibilities do you have? Um, I had to come up with fundraisers on my own to raise money for um, our grade. And we actually didn't have a sponsor that year, so I was going to the senior sponsor for a lot of things. And um, we did like Chick-fil-A at lunch. We would sell that and raise money. And all of the money that we raise over all four years um, goes towards project graduation. So when we graduate, we'll have um, like games and um, things to win so that people go there rather than um, go other places on graduation. Just for the high school or for anybody? For our grade at the high school, yeah. Oh, for just for your grade. Mm -hmm. I've also learned that you're very involved in with the youth church groups. Tell us about those programs. Um, I'm involved in Young Life and Wild Life. Young Life is for high school students, and it purposely like wants to bring in the students who are getting involved in bad stuff to bring them. Um, we do like lots of games and then activities. And um, then at the end, they'll do like a little bit of talking about God and stuff so it won't freak people out and they'll come more. And then when you go to camp, that's when it like really changes your life. And um, wildlife, I'm actually a leader for it. And it's a, basically the exact same thing as Young Life, it's just for intermediate students. And um, we do a bunch of games and then there's always a little talk at the end. So um, it really gets people involved. It's just mostly the point of it is to get them to go to camp, which um, changes them. Well, when is camp? Um, it actually is in the summer, and um, last year I went to one called Frontier, and um, it's like in Colorado, and there's just like a bunch of different things to do, like you'll go swimming, you'll go um, rock climbing, you'll rappel off mountains, there's um, little courses you do and stuff, and um, that's like the easy one, it shows you that life is like really fun and stuff like that, and then I actually went to the more advanced one this summer, I just got back about three days ago. And it's um, called Wilderness, and I just did hiking in the mountains for a week straight. There's no showers, no TV, no cell phones. Um, we did like quiet times, and we would um, be out in the forest by ourselves in the middle of the night. It was actually pretty scary, but um, you learn a lot from it after you get back, and you like appreciate 
a toilet and a shower and um, like the small things in life. Well, do you have a guide with y'all? Um, we actually take two of our Young Life leaders, and they are with us, but we do also have guides that are, like, professional. Um, they know where they're going. They know how to get us everywhere, and they, like, cook our food and stuff. Well, that sounds really fun. How often does a Young Life meet, and where? Um, every Monday we meet at a place called Life Point, and um, that's where we do the games and the activities and the little talk, and that's every single Monday. And then on Wednesdays is when we do, um, it's called Campaigners, but it's basically like Bible study. And um, that's when what we really want to try and get people to go to um, after Monday is try and get them to go to the Wednesday. Cool. And what are your goals are in life? Um, my main goal right now is I really want to be a pharmacist. So I'm just trying to get through school, get into a good college, and um, get into a pharmacy school, hopefully. Hopefully. What are your biggest influences in life? Um, my sister is probably my biggest influence just because she um, is in college right now. And I felt like it was going to be really hard to get to that point, but she's um, shown me that you can get there. It's great to have role models and people to look up to. Well, Peyton, your parents must be very proud of you. You have made a great impact on so many young people. That is our goal of the DKD Foundation, to show all kids that they can make a difference no matter where they live. You're definitely a role model, and the DK Day Foundation is proud to have you as your feature of the week. When I sleep, you're everywhere, you're everywhere. Just tell me how I got this far. Just tell me why you're here and who you are.